Did Hitler and the other top Nazi leaders pack heat? Were they routinely armed? And if so, what were their personal preferences when it came to sidearms? That's what we're going to find out in this video. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. NordVPN not only encrypts your traffic and changes your IP address, but also has lots of other top VPN features to give you maximum protection. VPN can be vital if you operate in countries with low internet freedoms or restricted freedom of speech. Your online actions can lead to fines or imprisonment. Meet Double VPN. It brings the benefits of enhanced security, complete privacy and double encryption, making it doubly hard for attackers to decipher your online data. For your everyday needs, a standard VPN connection is sufficient, but if you are a journalist or an activist advocating freedom of speech, Double VPN is your solution. The best part? It's just a click away. Amazing. Internet security is that easy. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash Mark Felton and get an exclusive deal. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. You get four months for free on a two year plan. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Mark Felton. Now, I should be clear about one thing. When I'm talking about this or that leader's firearms, I'm not referring to those pistols that often turn up in auctions, primarily in the United States, claiming to be Hitler or Himmler's personal pistol and so on. You know the kind of thing I'm talking about, pimped up Walter PPKs or Zauers, covered in gold and engraved with an inch of their lives. Contrary to popular belief, such guns only had a very distant relationship with the particular leader they purportedly belonged to. They were almost always presentation pieces from gun companies or other businesses desperate to flatter powerful politicians to secure juicy contracts. They were the kind of baubles dictators, royals and other lofty personages often received from acolytes. The closest these weapons ever got to Hitler or other Nazi leaders was them being shown the weapons for a few seconds or minutes during some presentation ceremony, and then the pistol being catalogued and stored with all the other presents the leaders received. The only Nazi to whom such gaudy baubles might have appealed was Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring, whose sense of style and fashion was straight out of the Liberace House of Crap. The weapons carried by Nazi leaders were practical guns, standard issue pieces, and not firearms jewellery. For example, Hitler, on the rare occasions when he actually openly carried a pistol, chose something from Walter, a company whose products he seemed to favour. Hitler was always surrounded by teams of well-trained SS and army bodyguards, and had no real need to wear a pistol. But during the 1939 invasion of Poland, he visited close to the front lines and did wear a pistol, evidently because of his proximity to danger and as a symbol of his status as a warlord. It's clear from the photograph that Hitler was wearing a Walter PP holster, presumably holding a PP. The PP standing for Polizeipistola, or police pistol. The PP was a blowback operated semi auto introduced in 1929 and still in production today. It's a medium sized handgun, chambered in 7.65mm or 32 ACP, and was very popular with the German police and German military officers due to its smaller size and reduced weight in comparison with the Luger or Walter P38, which were both 9mm pistols. The PP was not as famous as its smaller cousin, the PPK, which Hitler also owned and apparently used to kill himself with in his Berlin bunker in April 1945. If you are wondering what happened to Hitler's PP and PPK pistols following his death, don't despair. I've already made a video about their likely fates, link in the end screen. Interestingly, Hitler most probably carried a concealed pistol on a daily basis. His SS valet Heinz Linger wrote that Hitler had a special concealed pocket in his trousers that held a small pistol for his personal protection, a Walter Model 8. This little 8-round 6.35mm or 25 ACP semi-automatic entered production in 1920. Weighing only 12.5 ounces or 350 grams, it made an ideal backup gun and was used as such by several high-ranking officers, SS and party officials, and also Luftwaffe and Panzer crews who operated in confined spaces. The Walter PP was actually developed out of the Model 8. Hitler's deputy and successor for most of the war was the flamboyant Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring, 
He owned literally hundreds of firearms due to his passion for hunting and many different pistols that he wore with garish uniforms of his own design. But Goering didn't carry some elaborate bejeweled or engraved pistol, but instead rejected such pretensions for a really practical piece of kit that wasn't even German. Though Goering often did carry a Walter PPK, his favourite everyday carry was not a semi-auto but a revolver, an American Smith & Wesson 38 Special in a patent brown leather holster. He was wearing this pistol when he surrendered to the US troops following his apprehension in May 1945, and this weapon and its holster are on public display today at the US Military Academy West Point, while his personal PPK ended up in private hands in America. Goering's Smith & Wesson 38 Special was manufactured in 1934, and he purchased it from a Hamburg gun dealer soon after. Hitler had also owned a Smith & Wesson, in his case a Ladysmith 22 revolver. It was this gun that his niece Gailey Raubel used to shoot herself with in his Munich apartment in 1931. Allegedly, this gun was liberated from Hitler's apartment by a US GI in April 1945, though this is disputed. Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler was often photographed shooting pistols, and often using his left hand when he was in fact right-handed. We might say that Himmler was either left-eye dominant, or he was practicing shooting with both of his hands, which was a standard practice in the old German military. Himmler certainly was nearly always armed, according to film and photographs. The holster type he was photographed wearing suggests he carried the Walter PP, or possibly a Mauser HSC, or even a Zauer 38, but I'm guessing that the PP was most likely. Several pistols of the types I've outlined, engraved, were given away by Himmler as gifts. I suspect that someone like Himmler would also have carried a concealed pistol on his person as a backup gun, but I can't prove this. I haven't found any footage or photos of propaganda minister Dr. Josef Goebbels wearing a pistol, though he undoubtedly owned firearms and indeed would shoot his wife and then himself with a PPK on the 1st of May 1945, he doesn't appear to have openly carried weapons, even when visiting close to the front in April 1945. In the same applies to Martin Bormann and Reichsminister Albert Speer, who appear to have issued the wearing of holstered pistols in public. However, Reich Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop did occasionally wear a pistol, and his weapon of choice was one of the big boys, a P-08 Luger. We know this because von Ribbentrop's Luger was recently sold by Phoenix Investment Arms. Von Ribbentrop, a World War I cavalry officer, appears to have either retained his World War I sidearm or purchased a World War I-era Luger, for this weapon was captured by a US officer concealed in some of his personal baggage at the Hotel Krona, Umhauer, Austria, on the 5th of May 1945. The weapon is a DWM-manufactured 1908 first-issue Luger, with a standard 4-inch barrel with walnut grips. It was captured with two magazines, one from World War I and a second dated 1935. It passed through several US collectors before being recently sold again. This is by no means an exhaustive list of all the various weapons carried by Nazi leaders, so I'd be interesting to read some of your opinions in the comments section below. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.